people really need to think about the goals that they are setting that for themselves and how fast that they can realistically attain them. Today, I'm going to talk about setting your weight loss goals. So let's get started. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer by training. Today, I'm going to talk about setting your weight loss goals. So let's get started. I've been MIA from the channel for a little bit. We've had a lot of things going on and I'm pleased to let you guys know that I'm going to be in New York City this Saturday, May 19th at the Times Square Marriott from 10 a.m. to noon for a nutrition seminar. At this nutrition seminar, I am going to be talking about how to calculate your macros and how to meal plan from your macros. So if you are in the New York area or the Northeast, or you just want an excuse to get out of town and come to New York City, link below for the tickets to come and join us for this awesome event. We have amazing sponsors, Athleta, Marriott, um, lots of prizes, lots of gifts for you guys, so you definitely want to come and join us and check that out. So in today's video, you guys, I wanted to talk about something that's really important, and that is setting your goal when it comes to your weight loss. The reason I am bringing this up is because Gage Girl Training specializes in creating customized meal plans, and your meal plan is going to be dictated based off of the goal you state for yourself. And I'm really excited to let you guys know that we've made a lot of improvements and have a new and improved questionnaire and a new process to really dial in and make sure that your needs are being met by your customized plan. And the first thing that is new is just clearly defining your goal. And I believe when it comes to nutrition, there are three goals. Number one, weight loss. Number two, body recomposition, which means that you don't expect any weight loss. You just want to gain some lean muscle mass and drop body fat. And goal number three, weight gain. The reason I feel the need to bring this up is because sometimes someone may state a goal that they wanna lose a certain amount of weight in a certain amount of time and they don't always understand what that's actually going to translate into in terms of what that experience is going to look like. So in today's video, I'm actually going to walk you guys through some examples explaining what your macros would be given a certain goal to really help you guys rethink your goals. So example number one that I'm gonna walk you guys through, and if you want details on how to do this, please watch my video on how to calculate your macros for fat loss. But under this example, we are going to take a 35 year old female who is five foot six and weighs 170 pounds. And let's say this female wants to lose 20 pounds. So she's at 170, five foot six, 35, and says, you know what, fills out her questionnaire, I want to weigh 150 pounds and I wanna do that in two months. So I'm gonna walk you guys through an example explaining if that was your goal, what it would look like. So the first thing you wanna do is calculate the BMR under these circumstances. And when I calculate the BMR, I'm coming up with 1483 calories per day. From your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate, that tells you how many calories you need to sustain that current body mass. What you need to do is multiply it by your activity and then determine your total daily energy expenditure. If I assume that this person works out about three to four times a week, I would put her at an activity factor of about a 1.4. That gives me about 2,076 calories per day. Now at 2,076 calories per day, that is this person's total daily energy expenditure. In order for this person to lose 20 pounds in two months, that would translate into approximately two pounds a week. Now at two pounds a week, in order to lose one pound of body fat per week, you would need to be in a caloric deficit of 500. In order to lose two pounds a week, you would need to be in a caloric deficit of 1,000. So if this person wanted to work out three to four times a week, at a total daily energy expenditure of 2,076 calories, if I would subtract that minus 1,000, this person could only eat 1,076 calories per day, or they would need to work out more. So what I'm trying to say is at 1,076 calories per day, that's low, that's not a lot of food. So I think that 
people really need to think about the goals that they're setting that for themselves and how fast that they can realistically attain them. Now, if we altered this goal for this person to lose one pound of body fat per week in two months time, this person would have to consume, let's say they were at 2,076 calories for their total daily energy expenditure minus 500. That would put it at 1,576 calories per day. Now in two months the time at this number of calories, working out three to four times a week, this person would lose 10 pounds. Now 10 pounds in two months does not sound like a lot and this means that this person would actually need to take about four months time to reach their goal. Now that may sound like a long time but you have to ask yourself how aggressive do you want to be and what are you willing to do? So for instance, yes, you could work out every day of the week and yes, you can go a little bit lower in your calories, but I don't think it's practical for people to be eating at 1,076 calories per day. So one thing that we have done at Gage Girl Training is we've added a new step to our process with our customized meal plans. And once you fill out the questionnaire, and as you guys can see here, um, there are a lot new questions related to food preferences, what's going to happen is a certified Gage Girl Training nutritionist is actually gonna give you a call Go over your answers with you and just make sure that if you want something a little bit more aggressive that you are taking it into context of what it's actually going to look like, making sure your food preferences are clearly defined and so we can write you the best plan possible. So I caution you guys, when you say you, know, you want to lose so many pounds in um, a month or two months, whatever, divide that by the total number of weeks that it's going to take and look at what that caloric deficit looks like. And in most cases, so many of you are setting goals that are far too aggressive for you. And what I encourage you guys is to set moderate goals that you can realistically sustain and achieve each week because this is not a race. This is not going to happen overnight. And I encourage you guys to be realistic with your goals for yourself. So if you have any questions or concerns or you wanna see more examples of different goals and what that rate of fat loss looks like and what your calories would look like as a result, comment below. I'm happy to walk you guys through some more examples, but the purpose of this video is to caution you guys to set realistic goals when it comes to setting your nutrition so that way it's sustainable. Take care, you guys, and I hope to see you in the next one.